the rules for uh, accessibility uh, can sometimes be too much restrictive uh, for the case of uh, inheritance uh, since uh, these rules apply in the same way uh, this uh, public and private uh, uh, accessibility rules apply in the same way uh, uh, to subclasses or any other class. Uh, so uh, in many um, language oriented languages uh, there is often defined um, in, um, uh, modifier that um, uh, lies uh, between the uh, private and public uh, visibility and it is the private access uh, which um, uses the uh, no, uh, the, uh, it, it is the protected access uh, that uses the protected keyword uh, and it gives access to uh, methods or fields of the superclass to its uh, subclasses but these members are not uh, visible uh, from other classes that uh, classes that are not subclasses of the superclass uh, and uh, these are kind of uh, access um, is uh, uh, an alternative to private and public access but it is also um, a different kind of access which is protect uh, uh, protected access and there is a, a package level access. Um, so the protected access can um, be used uh, for methods. It can be used for any member uh, but it is uh, mostly used for methods and constructors uh, because fields uh, should not be uh, visible outside of the class because of uh, um, uh, because it weakens encapsulation. Uh, so um, now uh, uh, to modify the um, display method for post so that it prints it in a different way um, oh uh, it is implemented in a message post Okay, so it's here, and so now let's see how it prints now. It should be the okay. It's the username and the time before the message. Let's see if it's correct. Mm. Yes, it prints 
we printed before, uh, but the formatting isn't really the best. Maybe this one should be a backslash. And then should add also a backslash here. Um, So now it prints it in a good format. Uh, but now to uh, get uh, uh, the username and timestamp displayed after the message, you have to modify uh, this. And put a new line here. Yes, yeah, so now uh, it's in this other format, uh, but um, to be able to have the name first, then the message second, and uh, the timestamp in the last place, um, the display method here should be modified. Mm, but how? So I don't know. I can make the. Um, uh, fields protected or what else? So This Username and the timestamp. Okay. Let's try.
Oh, yes. Princess Di, and Princess Di. But this should be on this there. But I think it can also be done without making this protected and giving them private. Maybe this can be left as public, it is get username and get timestamp. These are two ones that are really needed. So they can stay public or become protected. And so this can be used to modify the display method. Um, and I think it doesn't need super cool. The code is matter in this one. Mm. The time stamp uh, works, but it's not really converted. Um. Oh, okay, so this one should definitely uh, become protected. Because it's this one that should be used, not this one. Thank you. But no, wait a moment. It still needs to get timestamp as an argument. So now it should have a better format. So now it's displayed as intended. 